In this video, I'm showing you how to install shaders on Minecraft PC. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Shaders like Minecraft look absolutely insane, so it's definitely worth trying them out. Please do watch this video right until the end and let's go and get into this. The first step is, is to go and open up a search browser such as Google Chrome and come to a search engine such as Google. Then all you want to do is simply go and search for something called Optifine. So go and search for Optifine. Now what Optifine is, is basically a tool which optimizes Minecraft and it also allows us to run shaders as well. So make sure you come to optifine.net just at the top here, but do keep watching this video as I'm showing the full install process as well. So come to the top and come and click on downloads. Then once it loads, you can go and click on show all versions and you can download Optifine for so many different versions of Minecraft as you can see. So I'm gonna go and get this for 1.18.1 as this is the fully released version and 1.18.2 isn't quite released yet, but this will probably have changed for you as there's different versions of Minecraft the whole time. And either you can go and click on download here or mirror, the mirror button is gonna go and skip the ad wall, but I like to go and support the developers. So I'm gonna go and click on the download button just like so, and here we are on the ad wall. As always, to be very careful with ad walls as some of them may be malicious, um, so just be careful. But then all you want to do is come to the top right and then go and click on skip, and it's gonna go and take us back to the Optifine download page, and here we are. Then all you want to do is go and click on download just like so, and it's gonna go and start the Optifine download just in the bottom of your browser, depending on what browser you have, otherwise it may be straight in your downloads folder. But something quickly to note is, sometimes you may go and get a pop-up saying these types of files can be dangerous. If you go and get that, you just need to go and click on keep. You may have to go and click on this upwards arrow, um, and then you can go and do that. Now you just need to go and locate the Optifine file. It will either be in the bottom of your browser or in your downloads folder in your file explorer dish down here. So I'm gonna go and drag it onto my desktop for now, just like so. Then I'm gonna go and minimize off of Chrome as well. So the next thing you want to do is go and double click on Optifine. Now, if a few things may go and happen, either you're gonna go and get the installer just like this, or you may go and get a folder open with files in it, or you may go and get a whole other program open or nothing may happen. Now, that's likely because you haven't gone and got Java installed or you're not running Optifine with Java. So all you want to do is make sure you've got Java installed. So to do that, I recommend just downloading it and installing it again. So come up here and let's go and go to Java. Dot com so you can go and search for Java as well it's fully up to you and then you want to go and click on Java download and you just need to go and start the free download it's completely free and it essentially just allows Optifine to run because it's a .jar file which is a Java type so go and follow the installation steps it's really really simple then you can come back here once you've gone and installed it and you want to go and make sure we're running Optifine with Java so come up to the Optifine file click on it once then right click on it and you want to go and click open with and here we are then go and click more apps to go and find Java and make sure you go and click on it. It looks like Java TM platform SE binary. So go and click on it and then go and click always use this app to open .jar files and then you can go and press OK. Then you're gonna go and get the installer pop up just like this. And all you want to do is go and click on install. Now nothing is gonna happen and it may you may think you know it's broken or something, but that's simply because it's doing everything behind the scenes and then you're gonna go and get this pop up here saying Optifine is successfully installed. So then all you want to do is go back to your Chrome browser. And what you want to do is go and search for something called Silder's Shaders. Now Silder's Shaders are my preferred shaders. There are so many different types of shaders out there, but I just like Silder's because I know they work and they're a good quality as well. So go and search for Silder's Shaders just like so. Then you want to make sure you come to the GitHub website just up here, and this is their official website. So here we are, all you want to do is come to the top left and we've got this list here and you want to go and click on downloads and it's going to take a moment to load and here we are. So as you can see, there are quite a few different shaders. They're called vibrant shaders. Um, and as you can see, it goes from light to extreme. So light is if you're on a lower end system, it's going to be less demanding. Um, so you do that if you've got a lower spec PC. Or you can also go and get extreme as well. Personally, I'm going to go and get high. So I'm going to go and click on high just here. And here we are, it takes us to an ad wall. So once again, just be very careful as some ad walls can be malicious, but just wait for this to finish. And then in the top right, we can go and click skip ad. As you can see, click skip. Then it's taking us to Curse Forge. And all you want to do is come to the right up here where there is a download button and go and click on download. Then it's gonna go and take us here. We just have to wait a few seconds and then it's gonna go and put the download into our browser or just straight into your downloads folder, depending what browser you use. As you can see here, I've gone and got the zip file. So then I'm just gonna go and put this onto my desktop as I just find it easier to keep all my files there. And there we go. So now I can come and close off of Chrome and we want to go and open up Minecraft. 
So go and open up the Minecraft launcher and I'll meet you there. Here we are on the Minecraft launcher and you want to come to the left of the play button and then you want to make sure you go and select Optifine just here or you can go up to the top and go and click on installations and you can also go and click on Optifine and then go and click play as well. Then it's going to go and launch Minecraft. Once Minecraft is loaded, then all you want to do is go and click on the options button just here on the main menu and then go and click on video settings and you're going to know Optifine is successfully installed by coming to the bottom left and as you can see here it is. Then in the video settings you'll notice a shaders button will have appeared because we're using Optifine. So go and click on shaders and here we are. So all you want to do is come to the bottom left and go and click shaders folder just here and here we are in our folder then all you want to do is go and drag that file we just downloaded which is still to shaders so go and drag it in just like so then I'm going to go and close off of it just like so and here we are as you can see I've now gone and got still to shaders um, and it's just taking a minute to reload and then all you want to do is make sure you go and click on it and it's going to go and reload Minecraft as you can see and now it's successfully selected so then all you want to do is go and click on done and go and click on done again and we can go and get into a game and I'll show you what it looks like. Here we are in a game and it looks absolutely incredible with shaders. As you can see we go and have the custom clouds and the leaves are moving and everything just looks really really cool and of course you can go and turn it off really easily as well. Simply go and press on S, come to options, come to video settings then shaders and all you need to do is go and click off and then it's going to go and put it back to default Minecraft and you can change that within a game which is really useful and as you can see everything looks normal. So if you Found this video useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel leave a like for more peace